Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new, welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm so glad that you're here. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ash and today I'm being joined by my husband, Rob. Hello. We're here to make one of my favorite types of videos, which is gonna be all about baby names. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am currently pregnant with baby number three, and I've been posting lots of baby and pregnancy related videos, and we'll be doing more and more in the future. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a thing. So today's video is going to be the ever popular baby names I love, but probably won't be using. And I've asked Rob to join me because I thought it would be fun to talk about some names that we had picked for previous pregnancies and then didn't end up using and now probably won't use. And also to talk about names that one of us loves and the other has said no to. So let's just jump right into names that we picked for a previous pregnancy. Like we were pretty set because every time we've tried to really pick a boy and a girl name before we know whether we're having a boy or a girl, so we kind of have gone into the pregnancy, or maybe not gone into the pregnancy, but about by the midpoint of the pregnancy, we've had pretty much our girl name and our boy name picked. And then, you know, it's either, you know, gone one way or the other, obviously. So we're gonna do 10 names all together. Five boys, five girls. Starting with the name that we had picked for our first pregnancy, if it had been a girl. Mm-hmm. You want me to say it? Sure. Scarlet. Yes. Two T's at the end. Which, that's a name that we've both loved forever. I mean, I mm -hmm. remember when we first started dating, we actually, at one of our, you know, sort of early in our relationship, when we had that, like, I guess, like, the serious date where you talk about, like, what you want for the future, you know, you talk about, like, where you see yourself going in your life, all, all that kind of stuff, and, like, do you want kids and how many, all that. We talked about names a little bit, and we both agreed right away on the name Scarlet for a little girl. So we had that name for, you know, almost 10 years mm -hmm. before we were actually in at the point where we were possibly going to be using it. And then of course, that was with our first pregnancy and that ended up being our son, a boy. So we did not name him Scarlet. Yes. I was really into that name. It was kind of sad when we didn't get to use it that first time. Yeah, I was totally committed. Like if he, I, I'm certain that if he had been a girl, he would be named Scarlet. Like mm -hmm. that was, I think we were set. For sure. So then for boys, we have um, the name that we had picked for our second pregnancy because our second was a girl. Mm -hmm. So for our second pregnancy, we had a boy name picked and I was pretty set on that name as well. Like I definitely mm -hmm. thought that was going to be the one. Yeah. And that name was Everett. Everett, yes. Which I really like. Just similar to Scarlet. Yeah, I mean, they both have the double T ending, which is interesting to me because our last name ends in a double letter. We Our name is Burgess, so it ends in a double S. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we just like the thought of the double letter. Like, something about that obviously appeals to us. I think that, though, I guess we should talk with each name about why we didn't end up using it, you know, later when we had a chance. Of course, we already said we didn't use Scarlet because, you know, we had a boy. And then we didn't use Everett because we had a girl. But why didn't we use Scarlet when we had a girl after we had the boy, though? I think we just... I think, for me at least, in some ways, I think because I was so committed to Scarlet the first time, I almost felt like that person was going to be named Scarlet, and then when that person who was going to be named Scarlet didn't arrive, I felt like the name was kind of over for me. Mm -hmm. I also feel like <clears throat> when we picked the name so long ago, there weren't that many little Scarlets around. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we're just like all the other people of our age that kind of have the same, everyone has the same ideas, everyone likes the same baby names. Mm -hmm. But we, like all those other people, loved the name Scarlet. And then by the time we actually had a little girl, all the people that loved Scarlet at the same time of us as us had started actually using the name Scarlet. Right. And one of my rules that I kind of like to go for is, if not a name that no one has, I mean, because somebody has every name, I really wanted to pick names for our kids that we didn't know anyone with the name or anyone that has a kid with the name. So it kind of, you know, it lessens the name for me if like, even if it's like a friend of a friend or a distant relative or something has a baby and their name is Scarlett, then it's kind of like, oh, you know, maybe we won't do that. Mm -hmm. 
Had we not thought of Everett when we originally had, we're gonna have a boy? No, I don't think we really considered Everett when we were originally having a boy. Mm -hmm. And then I felt really strongly about Everett. Like I was like super, super gonna go for Everett with the second and then mm -hmm. we just, you know, we had a girl. So yeah. that, you know, didn't happen. And then we're also still not going to be using Everett this time because um, our daughter's name is Emerald. And another sort of, I guess, rule or guideline that I have for like how I wanna pick names is I only want our kids to share an initial if there's also another shared feature. So for example, since our son and daughter have different first initials, I would say have all girls that have the same initial or all boys that have the same initial potentially. So like if this third baby was a boy, I would be okay considering a name that where they would share an initial with their brother. Or if this was a girl, I would be okay considering a name where they would share the initial with their sister. But I wouldn't want to have, you know, a brother with one initial and then a sister and an additional brother that both share an initial. Because then it sort of feels like somebody's been unfairly left out. Whereas I think if there's something else that they share in common, then there's more of a case to be made for why they get to share the same initial and the other person doesn't. Like, if they were a boy-girl set of twins, maybe then th that set of twins could share initials even though someone else would be left out. Like, those are just like the ways in my mind that I like it to be even. That makes sense. So anyway, that's why this time we wouldn't consider Everett because we already have a girl with an E name, so we wouldn't then want to consider a boy with an E name. Mm-hmm. And then moving on to another girl's name that we both love but probably won't be using is Violet. Mm -hmm. We almost named our daughter Violet. Yeah, it was We're, very close. And, and I still love it. It's one of those things where I didn't actually fall out of love with the name Violet. I just fell even more in love with the name we ended up picking. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, I guess that's that. It's like, you know, I feel like we passed on it once, mm -hmm. so... Now it feels a little bit secondhand, so I don't know if I would use it for the new baby. So you don't like feeling like names are used? Yeah, I like to feel like that zing of excitement, like you've fallen in love with the name and it's just for that baby. Mm -hmm. So I felt like Violet was just for our first daughter, and then when we picked something that we liked even better for her, that it's like I'm not going to give our second string choice to the next one. Mm-hmm even though I do actually really love it. I really like it. And we obviously really like color names, because I mean, our daughter's name is Emerald, so you know, there's another color for mm -hmm. me right there. Um, and we should probably talk fast, because I'm noticing that my battery is flashing. So we're just gonna film as much as we can, and then if my camera dies, we'll just charge a little bit and pick back up with filming at another point, either later tonight or maybe tomorrow. Although that might be weird, because then we'll be in different clothes. So let's try to like, I should stop talking and just keep going. All right, so. <laughs> So another boy's name I have on our list is Emerson. Mm -hmm. And that was another one that was an almost for our son. So that was with our first pregnancy. We weren't super close. Like it wasn't like with Scarlet where that was like the name mm -hmm. or with Violet where we almost picked it. We just, I think it was a very strong contender. Like we both liked it pretty well and I still really like it, but our daughter's name is Emerald. Another E name. Not just an E name, but I mean, it's the first, is it the same first four letters? Oh yeah. That would be way, way too close in my mind. Like it's like almost like... Same number of letters. Too. Yeah, it's just, it's much too close of a name. So I feel like one kind of eliminates the other. Like mm -hmm. you can't do like Emerald and Emerson. Like that's just, it's too much for me. Like no. <laughs> um, so, so that's over. Mm -hmm. So then for our third girls pick, we're now moving away from names that we both agreed on and then didn't use. We're moving on to names that one of us really liked and then the other said no. Mm. So, first one is the girl's name, California. Yeah, this is a name I liked. And I said not no. So hot on. I actually don't mind this name and he, ha he made a good case for why this would be a good name to pick because, I mean, we lived in California for a while, you know, right you know, like before we had kids, it was a great experience out there. We love it there mm -hmm. still, you know, so it has a piece of our hearts really. And so it would be a very meaningful choice. And I think it's a cool name. My issue, one, one, I think the main issue I have is just that I really don't care for the nickname Callie. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even though 
you know, even though like Emerald's nickname kind of lends itself to nicknames that I've said like, no, we just call her Emerald and that's worked. I just feel like California lends itself to the nickname Callie so strongly it would be hard to fight. And I just so, no offense to anyone who's named this, I think it's fine for other people. It just personally, I just don't I got like you it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it, I'm sorry. But so I could never, I just, that's, that's my main strike against it. Do you think it lends itself more to a nickname because it's four syllables? And because people refer to California itself as Cali. Mm -hmm. So I think it's already there in people's minds. And so I just, no, sure. I can't do it. So then we're gonna go to the boys' side and talk about another name that Rob loves and I said no to, which is Hunter. Yeah. One of my, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a writer, one of my favorite writers is Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, it has a nice woodsy feel. And see, I love the thought of naming someone after somebody that you, you know, really admire. And I actually like the sound of the name Hunter. Mm -hmm. My issues with it though are that I just feel like it's too common. Like we know of people that have kids named Hunter. True. Like even if they're not necessarily people that were like super involved in their kids' lives, just knowing that like someone we know that like has already used the name to me, that's kind of like less yeah. exciting. And I just feel like there's already a lot of hunters out there. Also, we don't hunt. True. I think maybe so. if like if you were in fact a hunter, yeah. I think that would strengthen the choice a little bit. I hunt for deals at the store. <laughs> to win. No, that doesn't work. Um, no, so I just don't think it works. <laughs> also, it now cannot work because our son's name is Harper. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is a little too close, even though I said, you know, we would consider, you know, two boys with the same first initial. To have the same first initial and the same two ending letters. To me, that feels too too much, mm -hmm. too similar. Kind of like an Emerson Emerald situation, a Harper and a Hunter. Also because, here's another issue. I think Hunter is an extremely masculine name, even mm -hmm. though I know there are little girls named Hunter. But our son's name is Harper, and that's a unisex name where there's actually more girls than boys that are named Harper. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it would only be fair to give another boy a somewhat unisex feeling name, or at least something that doesn't feel hyper masculine. I feel like Hunter is verging for me into the hyper masculine category. Mm. Whereas like, for example, Everett, one of the th things that I liked about it, in addition to just the sound and everything, is that to me, it's masculine, but it's a little soft. Hunter's mm. not soft. That's true. So that just does not work for me. Going back to the girls' side, we have, oh man, it's, it seems like this is all you, but I swear there are some that are me on here. We have another name that you like that I'm just not into. June. And I think that's a nice name. Yeah, it's kind of an old-timey name, ready for a comeback. It's, you know. I think to me it's just not fancy enough. Hmm. Like, it's in the style that I like. I really like that sort of classic, kind of almost like from a different time, like a Victorian lady, but I like a little bit more fanciness. Like for example, Emerald, to me, that's kind of lavish, a little bit lush, a little fancy. Scarlet, that's mm -hmm. like boom, very powerful. June feels very like no frills to me. Also, I will admit, not having someone be born in June and naming them June might be kind of problematic. Too. That was for me a secondary issue. I think someone born in June, that would be more like, yeah, June, but otherwise it's kind of just like, why? Yeah. Um, anyway, so going back to the boys' side, finally one that I love that you've said no to, mm -hmm. which is, um, Wells. Mm. Now, I really, really like this name. First of all, there's not that many names that start with W, so it feels a little bit unusual. Mm -hmm. And I like that style of the kind of, you know, the sort of unisex last name first. Like, I mean, our son's name is Harper. The Wells would kind of go nicely with that. Mm -hmm. And we also did both go to Indiana University where the big library there is named after, you know, Herman B. Wells. Mm -hmm. So it kind of has like a special association for me in that. Mm -hmm. And it also makes me think of like Wellington boots and like, if anybody has watched any of our videos that feature, you know, our family vlogs or like the last video we posted was the, um, like the gender reveal. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with little, like little Wellington boots on kids. Like my kids always have hunter boots. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and that kind of makes me think of that. So I think it's like very cute, but I could also imagine it being like 
a very like successful adult man also. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's like, it has a lot going for it, but you say no. <laughs> you said so many positive things about it. I feel like a jerk saying no to that one. <laughs> well, so you don't explain yourself. I don't know. It just it didn't sound right to me. All right. I don't have a really good uh, thought out argument for that one. I do remember you saying one problem you had was that our last name ends in an S mm -hmm. and it also ends in an S, and you thought that would be like too yes, maybe too true. lispy or something. Mm -hmm. Another name that you liked that I said no to is Maya, mm -hmm. which. I think, I mean, I just don't love it, but also another big issue for me is that we have several friends that have dogs named Maya. Mm -hmm. And so not only does that violate my rule of like, we already know people have used the name, but then it goes a step further because we already know people they've used the name and they've used it for a dog. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's over for me. Double whammy, yeah. Yeah, so it just, you know, not happening. Mm -hmm. um, so then that was our final girl's name. We have one more boy's name to talk to, mm -hmm. or to talk about rather. And this is another name that I love. And here, I will say, if I was gonna say of all the names we've talked about, one that we might, you know, we probably won't use it, but maybe we will. Better not say One that I might, <laughs> I, you've said enough bad about this already, but I'm just, I'm just saying this is a name that I would potentially push for, mm -hmm. which is Thayer. Um, and well, let me explain why I like it, or okay. do you want to just say why oh, you don't like no, it? First? I want to hear why you like it. First of all, I think the th sound. I think I just am really drawn to that. Like for example, I love the name Theodore, but it's off the table because that's already our son's middle name. So I think there must be something about that th sound that I really really like. And I like the style of like I mentioned before. I like that sort of last name first type of style that's you know so popular right now kind of like our son's name which is harper thayer has the same ending but it's different enough that i think you know harper and thayer would be a great sibling set it also totally totally fits my desire to choose a name that nobody has like i heard this name on a tv show and that was the only person that i've ever heard of or seen you know with the name was just this fictional character and I've not ever seen like no little kids, no adults, nobody. Like ours would be the only one and I love that. Like I love the fact that even though people are really surprised by our daughter's name, I don't know why because it's, it's, a, it's a real name. There are other people in the world named Emerald. There are so few of them that people are always like a little taken aback. Like they're just like, they're, it's, they're unexpected. I love, I love that. Like you're the only one with this name in any room you go into. I think Thayer would be the only one in the room with the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm worried to say anything about that though. Um, it doesn't sound like a real name to me. Is that because you've never encountered anybody with the yeah, name? Yeah, I've never encountered anybody with that name before. But you'd never met anyone named Emerald before we named Emerald. But that sounds like a name to me. That doesn't sound like a name to me as much. I just, I love this name so much. I was still, right, <laughs> I was still potentially push for this. Okay. I think right. we have some other contenders that we can agree on more in the mm -hmm. boys category currently, but still, you know, okay. down the road or, you know, if I can somehow edge it in this time, we'll see, you know, I'm mm -hmm. still, still would go for okay. it. But anyway, so that was all 10, five girls and five boys that either we both or one or the other of us loves, but we probably won't be using. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope if you came here for name ideas, this maybe gave you some ideas, you know, even though I like to use names that nobody else has used, I do also like the idea that I could inspire someone. Like if you were looking for a name and then you found a name in our video, that would be awesome. Or if you're just, you know, maybe somebody that knows us or is following along my channel and is curious about what we might be naming the baby, this gives you something of a window into our naming style, you know, both the names that we like, like names we love so much we almost used them, and also names that, you know, maybe one of us would try to push for, but the other one's saying no. So if you're here wondering what name we're picking for baby number three, you know, this may have given you some leads. And anyway, like I said, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. Please also give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon.